Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Stardox Bootskin once again. Uh, this may look familiar to those of you guys who saw my Bootskin XP video, and if you haven't, I would recommend that you go and check that out up in the cards right now. But in today's video, as I mentioned in that previous video, we're going to be taking a look at the Windows Vista specific version of Bootskin and see how it compares to the Windows XP one and what it allows us to do on Windows Vista here. So I'm going to have the link to this same website down below. And when you go to the download link here, you just want to make sure that you uh, download the Bootskin Vista version. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what Bootskin Vista is all about. So I've got it downloaded here. We're just going to go through the installation process. I've got it in my downloads here we're just going to run bootskin vista underscore public.exe and we're going to just agree to the terms of the license agreement we're going to just go through the installation process it's a very very simple install so this is it right here and you can see that right off the bat compared to the uh, xp version of bootskin this program, you know, this version is it's much newer. It has a cleaner look to it, a more modern look to it. And this is still a older program. I mean, this program came out around the time that Windows Vista came out. It hasn't been updated in years. So you've got a couple of options um, within this program. You have the option to load a boot skin. You can create a boot skin and you can also go to the about screen. Now the create a boot skin actually asks you to go to stardock.com to purchase the full version which is interesting because you know they don't sell this anymore so I guess they don't have this feature we're just not going to be able to uh, take a look at this feature of you know creating a boot skin but what we can do is select boot skins that other people have made so I definitely prefer the way that this program looks compared to the XP one it's just gives you more information right off the bat so down at the very bottom here you have this list of all of the current boot skins that you have installed on your system and when you click on one of them so right now we're on the windows default one you can see that in the middle section of the program here it has the name up here it has the author and it gives you some options to add in a new boot skin or apply this boot skin it also gives you a larger preview window and you can also view the boot skin gallery so let's go ahead and apply um, the object desktop boot skin. All we would have to do to apply this is click on apply this boot skin and that's it. Object desktop has been applied but we can just delete this boot skin if we want to we're not going to um, and if you hit add new boot skin what it will do is it, it will come up with a file browser allowing you to browse for a dot boot skin file and if you had one downloaded or if you had one already created using a uh, another program or if you made it manually using the guide that's on Stardock's website uh, you could just open that dot boot skin file that you created right here but what we're going to do is go to view the boot skin gallery over on wincustomize.com and this is where you're going to be able to download all of your boot skins you know aside from the ones that you want to make on your own so on the win customize website there are two separate categories that relate to boot skins you have the boot skin vista category which is what we're in right now or it just says boot skins and then you also have the boot skin xp category now unfortunately boot skins from the xp category and boot skins that you created to use with the older version of the program are not compatible with this version of boot skin so what i did just to you know show you guys what happens is I downloaded the same not Mac OS boot skin that I did in the previous video now what happens is when I try to add that boot skin to um, the application here so this is it right here so you know you can see that it does look like it might work with the program it has the same file extension but when we open it here you see that we get an error right off the bat it says this uh, boot skin is not compatible with this version of boot skin so unfortunately you're not going to be able to use any of the windows xp ones if you found one that you like so you have to actually specifically find ones from the bootskin vista category another major difference between this program and the old program is these bootskins in here um, are not animated they're just static images and that was one of the th one of the things that i liked about the older version these bootskins are just static images there are no animations like uh, we had in the Windows XP version of Bootskin. So let's go ahead and download this uh, Deep Space one. This one looks pretty cool. So we'll just go in here, we'll hit download. So we went ahead and downloaded that Bootskin. We will just add a new one. We'll go ahead and go to our downloads folder here and open up Deep Space. And there it is. So let's go ahead and apply this Bootskin. We'll hit OK and we're, we're going to restart the system here. And I will show you 
we'll just quit out of that. And I'll show you what it looks like on boot up. So yeah, that was one of the things that, it, that I didn't really like about this program is, I think that the program may just not support animated boot skins, aside from the default, uh, you know, regular Windows Vista boot skin. So this is it right here. I mean, it's just a static image, there's no animation. But, I mean, if you have a cool image that you want to put as your boot skin, this is a very easy way uh, to do it. So as you saw in this version of Bootskin, and as you're going to see in the uh, Logon Studio Vista video, which I have planned uh, coming up very soon as well, these versions of these two separate programs just are not as customizable as their XP counterpart. But that being said, it is still a very, very easy way to customize the way that your computer looks when you boot up. And uh, I think that Stardock did a decent job with what they had so guys that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video if you enjoyed this one definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever i upload a new video which i do every single week on this channel and uh, be sure to let me know guys down in the comments your thoughts on this program uh, your thoughts on how this program compares to its older xp counterpart i always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and as always i just want to thank you all so much for for watching and I will see you in the next video.